Hello and welcome, I'm the Dreamwish and today I'd like to show you a little upgrade I've made to my Monarch ship. Um, as you can see it's the crowned Monarch and <laughs> it's got a little uh, mess of generators over there. It has uh, obviously a crown added and a gravity cannon but a spinning one basically. It's a very simple sy system really. The rotor in the middle as you can see this small rotor over here spins these four gravity generators the generators then push the rocks in a certain direction and in my case it somehow manages to turn uh, clockwise I think and then those rocks turn counterclockwise it's really odd I don't know why uh, the ground was originally made only to have these four containment field things uh, set up next to it uh, in, the, in the center I mean but they turned out to be rather useless in the end so they are they are completely turned off at the moment so I'm now inside the ship inside the cockpit and with one click of the button I have uh, made a little um, button for it basically it's a stone halo if I trigger it they will start all the systems for me I don't have to go inside into the interface and do all the usual stuff that you do with these type of weapons so if I just click it and it should start functioning immediately. There we go. I'm just going to spectator because that's so kind of nice. And um, you can see a little ship over there. Ignore that. It's I had a little problems with crashing and losing some data. So it's kind of out of order how I record this video. So uh, just ignore the little ship there. So as you can see. The rocks are being uh, pushed out or ejected from those six connectors, which I put there in the most useful fashion, I suppose. And the, I'm going way too fast. And as you can see, the rocks that are contained then by... let me see here... On! And I seem to have done it wrong. Well, as you can see, it's starting to form a ring at the moment, and I don't know or understand why it refuses to show me... Oh, that got reset, I suppose. So as you can see, the generators are actually turning in a other, the other direction than the rocks are falling, as it were, because it's gravity, so they are technically falling. But I think it's, the rever it's, it's because it's a double-layered, all the uh, four side of the... Of the gravity, as it were, that they pass through, they pass through two separate layers of gravity constantly, and I suppose that they are pushed in this way um, more clockwise than counterclockwise. Because if I slow down the center rotor, it will they will go with the movement itself, but for some reason, probably because of the speed, they go clockwise. So as you can see, it starts to form a. Oh, rather pretty halo basically it's not really not really a weapon as it were it's, a, it's more more or less as for aesthetic values I mean, it looks pretty here come on if you make it from gold and it looks even prettier so I suppose but uh, prettiness aside uh, the way it functions is extremely simple four generators put on at the uh, same position so in this case the button is downwards I think yeah downwards then you just basically have this all the same settings which is height at the lowest I think and then width and depth is your just your own thing and as you can see uh, it starts to uh, uh, distort and then they will clump together and it will start re reform by the way I'm getting a bit of mi mixed up because it's all happening a bit faster than I wanted to the little rocks but it basically is a, a reoccurring cycle so it, it just it cycles through things so it becomes uh, it starts as a clump of rocks it spreads out into a halo starts distorting gets back into a clump and becomes a halo again as you can see it will slowly start to become a halo again but back to where I was the shield acts as a table as it were as you can see it's just upon the layer of the shield the shield pushes it upwards so that they don't ever come close to uh, the well the uh, fragile, fragile, that's the word, fragile components below it and it's to keep it in place then we have of course the large spherical shield, this is just to 
they are I, it's kind of a bit too large I suppose but I like it to be large because it will sometimes generate uh, make rocks orbit the ship which is which is fun I suppose but anyways getting off topic again here I have a penchant for doing that the uh, large uh, uh, spherical shield will keep it uh, rested upon the table and force it is force it it for forces it there we go not that difficult to remain in the center as it were so as you can see nothing is pushing it that way this way or forward or backward it's not go it's only pulled down towards the spherical generator but because it's it's spherical it is always always uh, uh, um, it's always going to the same spot in the middle of the of the shield, so it always remains on top of the crown unless you start moving around. But then you start just asking for it, as you can see. It will start moving around if I start moving the ship. So flying with the halo is quite impossible, really. So yeah. Well, that's basically that's basically the gist of it. That's 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 the, the entire system. And if I want to fire it, I have a button for that as well. And uh, because it's kind of distorted right now, I will just press the button, and you can see it in action right away. Rotation start it turns off, so it slows down and stops doing weird stuff, and it gets ejected. Stuff turns off, lights turns off. I go back into my view. Uh, turn on tap and the normal generator of course is turned on again making it very easy to just re um, just step out of the cockpit do anything else you want to do without going into the in, into the interface and having to turn on the normal uh, generators again normal, normal gravity generator uh, that's it let's let's just reactivate it again and blast it at uh, a normal monarch which I'm going to spawn in right about now so I've now uh, spawned the target which is a normal monarch and let me just get back into the cockpit with T V and we're gonna see how much damage we can inflict with the halo and as you can see moving with the halo will make it distort so that's well that's why it is kind of useless as a weapon you can't really even turn it without uh, it going completely bonkers now for the time being I will have to turn off the containment uh, easiest way of doing this is just to remove it there we go and then the containment won't get turned on and well let's see here number five it is we'll just move the spectator over here for a quick view of the damage perhaps from this side no just this side we want to see the damage not how it's get shot and f6 then we press five it will take a small time before it actually fired because I used to do it with the containment field on which as you can see is not functioning at all at the moment as you see they spread out let's see from this side which is it, it's it's effective as you can see it's not the best weapon especially not when it uh, it's compared to for instance the weapon that's currently on my whale shark and there you can see a little spaceship I've added <laughs> for fun um, it's not most effective, but the longer the range, the more spread out the damage is, the more uh, the more chance you have for taking out many turrets and or other vital parts. So, yeah, that's uh, oh no, don't quick load. <laughs> there we go. So I will just uh, quickly run down towards the towards the little fighter I have put in at the back of the ship because that's also new with this uh, version let's see here where did I put the buttons this one and this one there we go now it will turn it uh, it will put it down turn off its uh, turn on the uh, thrusters I having really a lot of difficulty talking as it seems turn on the thrusters there we go 
release it, retract, and it's ready to use. Simple as that really. This is just a small cargo ship. I thought it would be useful because it kind of had no really, not really any means to transport to or from the ship. So that's basically the whole, the whole meaning behind this uh, little ship. So, as you can see, that was my crowned monarch, my little, the little upgrade I've put on top of it. It's basically, well, the ship has become exactly how I envisioned it, and it's the best ship I've made so far. It's, in my, in my opinion, it's very, very beautiful, very elegant, the ship. But then again, it's my own creation, so I might be a little bit biased there. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming I'm a little bit biased. So I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.